I'm of the opinion that Jesus was referring to the fish. The reason is, I go fishing. <laughs> Peter said, I am going fishing. I'm going back to what I know, <laughs> what I can do, <laughs> what I feel comfortable in doing. I'm going back to fishing. And the other side said, we're going with you. So he had influenced them by his decision and they were all out fishing. So they toiled all night and caught no fish. And here is Jesus now. <laughs> Jesus is using the occasion when Peter would have ate his fill of bread and fish. Here is Jesus now saying to him, Peter, do you love me more than... And uh, Peter would slowly respond to the Lord. Lord, you know. You know. And three times Jesus asked him. Three times. Lord, thou knowest all things. You know that I love you. Brothers and sisters, that's, that's the crux of the matter. And you can't respond to that question from the Lord easily or quickly. Do you love me more than your job? Do you love me more than the things that you're trying to accumulate in life? Do you love me more than your pursuits, be it education, be it a husband or a wife, family? Do you love me more than these? And I am of the opinion that the response that the Lord wants is not just a quick, hasty response that comes from the, just the top of our head. It's a response that must come as a result of soul searching. Do we love him more than these do we what follows is to me uh, a true expression of Christ's desire to bless and involve the individual who though having failed miserably yet can be forgiven restored and commissioned by the Lord with that which is near to the heart of God. Here is Jesus saying to Peter, Peter, Peter who failed him, Peter who denied three times he didn't know him, Peter who went back to fishing. Here is Jesus saying to Peter now, Peter, feed my sheep. The reconnection had so taken place that Jesus was now entrusting the care of his sheep, the care of converts, the care of those who would believe on his name into Peter's hands. Tend my lambs, feed my sheep. So note the extent, note the power of Christ reconnecting love. It was not partial, it was not just something that uh, was incomplete, it was a total showing of the power of Christ to bring one back into harmony with him and with his will. Peter, I'm placing into your care my sheep, my lambs. Feed my sheep. I don't think that uh, Peter would leave the Sea of Tiberias with any doubts in his mind that he was back in the good books of Jesus. <laughs> he left there knowing for sure that all was well with him and the Lord. And I believe that there are so many who, like Peter, have failed the Lord, who have denied knowing the Lord, who have, by behavior, by actions, by choices, by things that they have elected to associate with, they have the cause of their disconnection. They're out there and they're full of condemnation, poor self-image. They are so feeling unworthy. They feel that uh, the Lord doesn't want them anymore. He is turned off by their behavior and they feel disconnected. And the Lord comes and in this loving way is saying, you don't know how I want to be 
reconnected with you. You don't know what I want to do for you. You don't know what I want you to do for me. If you'd only hear my call, if you would only come and let's reconnect. I believe this is one of the things the Lord wants to do uh, for many, many, many believers who have gotten into a state of disconnection, who have made some boo-boos, uh, who, have had to, who have gone the way of human reasoning and have messed up themselves and messed up their relationship. And the Lord is, is willing to restore them, renew them, uh, refresh them, and uh, recommission them. I, I believe in my heart, this is the heart of Christ for those who need to be reconnected. So how does this apply to us who are here today walking with the Lord? First of all, don't write off anybody. Don't write off anyone. Uh, sometimes we Christians can be very judgmental and we can write off people and place them uh, in a category of uh, unreachable. They're no longer prized by the Lord as special. No, don't, don't do that. Don't write off anyone. Let the Lord who is loving and merciful do his own reconnecting. Encourage their hearts. Let them know that the loving, sympathizing Jesus is willing to make that reconnection possible, even if it requires a miracle, a miracle, even if it would take a miracle to do it. The Lord wants to make that reconnection possible. He wants to use their lives if they would only give him a chance and allow him to reconnect. I believe it also is important that we allow our lives to become extensions of Christ's reconnecting love. The Lord may choose us to reach out to someone to assist them in reconnecting. Let's, let's be instruments in His hand to, to help people who are out there and who feel so, so far removed to reconnect. I believe that the greatest instrument in the hand of God to help disconnected people reconnect are believers. Our love, our interaction with people, the way we approach them, the way we treat them, the way we talk to them, the way we display Christ's reconnecting love, the way we call, the way we go about showing tenderness, uh, touching them in a human, loving manner, mm -hmm. like Jesus did those disciples. Mm -hmm. I believe mm -hmm. that's one of the greatest instruments yes. in the hands of God for reconnecting people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Believers whose lives, whose attitudes, whose mm -hmm. disposition mm -hmm. are such that we can be used by God to help people reconnect. So I just want to pray for us that God would help us to, to be such. That God would cause us not to write off anyone. That God would uh, show us that we can be instruments in the hands of Jesus to be like our Lord in bringing people back. Dear Lord, there are so many Christians who are living in a disconnected state. Something happened. They boasted on the Lord boasted in themselves and failed him miserably when the test came. And they have failed so miserably to the extent that they've lost confidence in themselves. And they're living far from the Lord in a disconnected state because they can't trust themselves again. They don't feel they can trust themselves. They feel like failures. They feel they've let the Lord down in such a terrible manner that maybe the Lord doesn't have any use for them. Lord, I just ask you to let this lesson cause us to recognize the power and the extent of Christ's reconnecting love. Help that this lesson would cause us to take example from, from the resurrected Lord yes, Jesus. who applied such human and down-to-earth and tender and loving means of bringing people back to that reconnected state and to trust them 
with responsibilities that will enhance and enrich the kingdom of God in spite of their failure. Lord, give us, give us that attitude. So many of us have been judgmental. So many of us have passed judgment on people. We have wiped them off. But help us, help us like Christ to employ his loving heart, his compassionate heart. And help us, oh God, to have the kind of concern, willingness to go where they are, to call out to them, to interact with the intention of bringing them back to Christ.